Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's attack one of the most complicated and difficult questions to answer. Is there an edge to the universe? Of course, people have been wondering that for a very long time, for hundreds and even thousands of years. But it isn't until recently that we have a real appreciation as to the size of the universe. And as we're learning more and more, we realize that whatever the size was that we thought of before in the visible universe, the beyond the visible part of the universe is probably way bigger than the visible part by an enormous amount. And not only are we now talking about hundreds of billions of galaxies, but potentially trillions and thousands, if not millions of trillions of galaxies, way beyond the part of the galaxy that we can observe, that we'll ever be able to observe. Now the question is, is there eventually an edge to that universe or does it keep going forever perhaps? So there's three possible answers. And again, you have to keep in mind that the visible part of the universe, the observable universe, has a radius of 13.7 billion light years, give or take a few light years. And that observable part of the universe doesn't have to be in the center of the entire universe if there is such a thing as the center of an entire universe if you talk about the center of the universe then there must be an edge there must be a finite volume to it and then you can point to the center so when you look in a textbook and it says, well, the universe doesn't have a center. It just simply means that we don't know where it is. And the center is only defined if there is a volume defined, if there's a, a shape defined to the universe. If it's a sphere with an edge, then yes, there must be a center. We may just not know where it is. As a kid, I used to think about that. I don't know why, but I always imagined if I just keep going and going and going, eventually would I reach a brick wall? And would that be the end of the universe? And I imagined standing on a brick wall, looking over it to see if there was anything beyond that brick wall, beyond the end of the universe. And I would imagine there would be nothing back there. But what is nothing? Not even space? Because that's, after all, space is something. And there's a some point where there's no longer any space. Or does space keep going on forever? Do the galaxies stop at some point? Or do galaxies cover all of space, even if it goes on forever? So, there's three possible answers, at least that I can think of right now. One of them is, the universe is infinite. Well, there's such a thing as Olber's paradox. And what Olber says was, if the universe was infinite, then there would be an infinite number of stars, an infinite number of galaxies. And then eventually, if you look far enough, you'd eventually look at a star, the surface of a star, and so, essentially, all of the surface of that infinite universe would be covered by stars and galaxies, and there would be light coming from everywhere, and the universe would be brilliantly bright everywhere. But he says, since that's not the case, I don't believe the universe is infinite. But then, if you study calculus before, and you do integration, and you integrate over all of the surface, or all of the volume, sometimes you get an infinite volume and sometimes you get a finite volume depending upon the equation used like 1 over x versus 1 over x squared for example and so it could be that the density of stars and galaxies is not sufficient for Olber's paradox to be correct and so that's not a good enough reason to say it's not infinite it could still be infinite and not have a brilliantly white brilliantly white and light background in space if it was infinite. So I would say that Olber's paradox has some holes in it and therefore it may not prove one way or the other that the universe is infinite. But an infinite universe is very unsatisfying. Like what is infinity? Infinity really doesn't exist. In mathematics we call it undefined. But it doesn't matter how far you go, you never get to the infinity part. So no matter how big we, we imagine the universe is, infinity is always bigger than the biggest thing you can imagine. It just keeps going and going forever. Is that possible? We don't know. It could be. But somehow, it doesn't seem plausible. Anyway, 
we could probably have debates for thousands of years on that topic alone and never come to a satisfactory answer. But at least we need to ask the question and at least think about it. Does it really indicate there might be an infinite universe? Well, the second option is that the universe is finite. But then we have the brick wall problem. If it's finite, then there must be an edge and what is beyond the edge. So having an edge and the beyond the edge, edge again seems impossible to imagine or impossible to answer because what would then be beyond the universe, beyond space itself? And how far would that go? Would that go on forever? The nothingness would go on forever. Is that possible? That again, we don't know. So we really having trouble either with an infinite universe or a non-infinite universe either answer seems impossible but we know we're here and the universe exists so there's perhaps a third plausible answer if you place an ant on the surface of the earth and you tell it to walk in one direction only and let's assume there were no oceans it could just keep walking eventually if it walked in a straight path it would go away around the earth and end up back in the same spot it started. So maybe there's something about the universe where the same thing can happen. You can maybe travel in the same direction, in a straight line, and eventually end up back where you started with. Maybe thousands of billions of years later, traveling at the speed of light. Maybe there's something about the curvature of space that it is self-contained, just like the surface of the Earth, and you end up back in the same place. People like that theory, because you can imagine an ant walking around the Earth but imagining the surface of, be, of a planet or the surface of a sphere being the universe, it's a good analogy, but it's not reality. And so, is that really the case that if you were to travel in one direction and keep going in one direction, just continue to go, that there's something about curvature space and we realize curvature space is real? We have, for example, Einstein's cross where light will bend around the gravitational lens of a galaxy and so we know light can bend and maybe the universe is such that light bends and if you were to travel in the same direction, follow the light in a straight path, you would again end up in the same place you started. And that would not require an edge or would it? And that's again where the conundrum starts. Even if it's self-contained, you travel around, you travel in a straight path, you end up back in the same place you started, would that part can be contained within something? Would there be an edge to that? Or does that prevent the reason of needing an edge so an edge doesn't exist at all? I know a lot of cosmologists tend to think that we don't need an edge because we most likely would travel in one direction and end up in the same place and an edge is not necessary. But I don't think we can make that analogy because the Earth itself, if the surface is the universe, there's a beyond the surface, an inside of the surface and a beyond the surface. And that would again indicate that there's something holding that part of space where if you were to travel in the same place, it still needs to be held in something and we don't know what that something is. So at this point, how do we answer the question, is there an edge? If it's infinite, there's no edge. If it's finite, there must be an edge, but then what's beyond it? So we have the same problem as number one. And here, if the universe was self-contained and you travel one direction, end up in the same place, no matter which direction you travel, you would always end up in the same place. Then what is that contained within? And again, the answer seems to elude us. That is one answer that we never be able to find. We're limited by our ability to envision what space might be like at that scale. That's right. Definitely. I like the brick wall part. <laughs> 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 ah, it's, that's a tough question.